Welcome back to Minneapolis. I'm just outside of downtown this way in an old district. As you can see, the buildings here are all old. All of them are. Uh, or maybe you can't see them so well, but I assure you, these are all old buildings. All of them. And what I'm going to do here is take a walk in between some of these buildings right here. And I'm going to show you some evidence immediately. Immediately. You want the bricks? You want the evidence? Uh, so do I. And I got it, baby. You know what they say. Pants on the ground are not bringing the evidence, baby. Yep, you already know I'm going to bring the evidence. No question about that. Get right to business. Here we go. Let's go on here. Where's the rest of that brick? Where's the rest of it? We didn't lay a piece that shape. Give me a break. Where's the rest of it? And here's the limestone, right? We've met this stuff already. I introduced this limestone. It's void. It's void behind there. Anywho, so this stuff here, look how far out it came out from the building. And yes, this building was was here atop what is, what is now limestone and what was brick. It was not built atop of an existing foundation. It was not. This building, the lower part, the, what is now limestone, and the building were standing together before the event. The entire wall here, the entire uh, lower section of bricks here is warped and is following the melt perfectly. Um, and a lot of these bricks at the very, that meet the limestone layer are the most damaged and smoked out and blown out. And some are coming down, some are sinking down with the melts down below, which are all, we know what this is right here, right? We know what this is, look at this. We're not laying this, these shapes in this order right here to lay down a, a brick masonry building a block long. A brick masonry building, which has been built perfect up here. And that's what we're gonna choose right there, this potato crisp for the foundation. Give me a break. It's not the foundation. It's not the foundation. The heat came from the bottom up came from the bottom up and the streets and sidewalks have been raised up to where the damaged line that's where we're raising the streets up to to cover up the damaged line because when you go because these buildings um which have like windows right here because the streets have been raised all the way down the building from the window down will be like this limestone damaged muffed up these are the terms. These are the terms, baby. Muffed. This is muffed up. These bricks are muffed up. Okay. You want muffy bricks? Here's the muffy bricks, baby. Got raised right here in the streets and the sidewalks. And um, they were red. And stairs are not going up into upper levels. And they were red, baby. They were red. Red bricks. Okay. Red bricks. Excuse me. Because of the damage on the building, it's not because of mud floods. Yes, there was debris and mud everywhere. So obviously, raising the streets and sidewalks is going to help um, with the debris problem as well, as well as their main goal: covering up this damage line right here, covering it up, and then trying to make what what they couldn't. You can see the bricks in here still. If we're able to cut out perfect, perfect um, bricks like this of limestone, then why are we doing this shape? Why are we doing these shapes? Where are the shapes here? It's just, it's just um, meatball soup. Okay, that's meatball soup, baby. And it ain't looking good to a vegetarian, baby. It ain't looking good. That's not a, that's not a choice material right there for a brick masonry building, which has been built perfect at top, right, eh? Give me a break. Just give me a break. You know, hide. What remains look like the red limestone, bricks. What they call limestone, look at the red bricks. Which it is limestone now, but it was not laid as um, the material you see here today. Okay? It was not. It was not. It was not. It was not. I agree, Pants on it, because I see red bricks. 
I see bricks sticking out of this limestone stuff everywhere. And I have, I've been sharing that with you and I'll be sharing it many more <laughs> examples, which are um, going to be smoking gun evidence coming soon. I got some smoking gun evidence of more of this stuff being born. Okay. It's, um, okay. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And the bricks were red. You can see the red bricks, not black. We didn't lay black ashen bricks down, um, with, um, Lichtenstein patterns and all throughout the bricks and yellow bricks. We didn't do that. These yellow and black bricks are smoked. They're all smoked, but they were red. Okay. No way. No way was that potato right there necessary with mortar around it. No way were those two potatoes right there necessary with mortar around them as if they'd been laid there with fingers. They have been, but they were bricks when they were laid. So, again, right here. We're not putting that shape in there. Just cut that out with mortar around it. Give me a break. We have, we have squares and we have squares in, you know, basic shapes here. Why that shape in there? Why those crumbles in there in, in the corner? We're not, right? No, we're not. And the bricks were red, right? And they are uh, Lichtenstein. Uh, they are blackened and burnt. And these just look smoked. There's ash still on this stuff. Like, like live ash. So that's pretty smoked. We don't build with buildings. We don't build buildings with this type of material. Look at that brick melted. Yeah, look at and that brick. Yeah. That brick is that brick is effed up. Now take a look here. What happened to that brick? The brick next to it is fine, but look at this one. I mean, are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. What happened to that? These two bricks right here. Look at the ones around them. Look at the red one up here, above it. How how nice that one is. And you can tell that they were all nice. They were all good brick. But look at, look, look at the condition of all of them, really. But look at those two. What does that look like? It looks like they got hot to me, would be my guess. That would be my guess. <clears throat> oh, sound. Sorry. Absolutely. And uh, now check this out. All these bricks here are kind of twisting and warping around with the mounts here. They were displaced. That one kind of at a cock angle now because of the melt out right here. And it did not complete all the way across. It did all the way down there. It came up right to there. But it did not. It stopped at the concrete. There seems to be a concrete slab right there. And that's what stops the, that's what stops the melt from coming up to the corner here, right here. See? And uh, then people will ask me this, well, Panson, how is it that along the entire row of headers all the way down that meets the limestone, there's not any melt uh, breaching that, that row of headers? Why is there not any melt that has come up past? Why is it just perfect like this? And I would say, well, here's kind of a breach right here. And there is breaches. The whole thing is waiting with the melt, the whole building down here at the bottom. These are all weedy. And I would say because likely the bricks on the bottom are of a different composition than the bricks atop. Maybe these ones are storing and acting more like capacitors up here. Maybe these ones on the bottom were active and being excited and converted to usable electricity at the time. Maybe that's why since they were active at the time of the event, they completely melted together because they were already excited and active. So likely the bricks on these, because it's always like this on these buildings. It's consistent and perfect um, all around the building. There's for, the damage line. For the most part, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it's not, it's not a new building being placed atop an old foundation. This is all the same small structure. The same damage. It's part of the technology is why we see this happen so abruptly and so perfectly. Two different types of bricks. The bricks that meet the base are going to be of a different composition. That's what it looks like because it's always the same pattern. See? I'll show you over here. 
between the buildings over here. Uh, right here. Same thing over here. Let me show you this one. Oh, over here too, those granites over here. Right here. So this is all raised, remember? All this here is raised. Raised. And they're raising it up to where? The damage line, pretty much, as best as they can. They're raising the streets and sidewalks up to the damage line on the buildings. Not because of mud floods. Here's some granite. It's everywhere. This stuff's everywhere. On streets, sidewalks. They were using it after the fact, and they were using it in the old world. And uh, the masons who made this stuff right here, it shines like glass. It's perfect. Whoever did that. Now, now I'm not saying that, that there's not mud floods. I'm saying, obviously, there was tons of debris from all the damage on the buildings and all these bricks. Um, crumbling down in, in, in their own soup and such. I mean, look at the damage of these bricks right here. Look, look at the damage. Okay. There was lots of debris. Buildings came down. You know, they, they weren't all standing, you know, after the event. But I'm just not with the idea. Well, hang on. Let me, let me pause. I'm not with the idea that just mud was coming in from some, that just, uh, you know, Large amounts of large amounts of mud. Hello, Lila. Oh, hello. Well, oh, that's a that's I know. I know. Okay, thank you. I just don't. I agree with the idea that you know, significant amounts of mud just came in from somewhere, and we don't know where, and it's not being. Oh, yeah, you you gotta talk over me. You talk over me, you crazy butt. That significant amounts of mud came in from you know wherever. Um, and it's not being addressed where that mud came from. I'm thinking if we can address what the mud is and where it came from, I'm open to agree with um, the idea of a mud flood. I'm sure that there was water involved with this event, um, flooding in involved, uh, it seems, because a lot of the melt seems to have come to a, um, an abrupt end very quickly and cooled very quickly. So uh, that would indicate to me that water was involved. But... Um, <clears throat> And then, you know, you get the water, you get the debris, and then you have mud. So if we can just uh, get serious here about what the mud is and where it comes from and how so much debris suddenly showed up, I think then we can have, um, I think then we'll be able to agree more on what we're seeing and what's happening and, and what we know we can, um, what we know we're observing here. Because we know we, have, we are observing brick damage here. You can see here. smokes right under these windowsills. They have something to do with the powering. Uh, lots of power, lots of energy being concentrated to these windowsills in these buildings for some reason. Not sure why that is. Not sure why that is. Now take a look here. This is interesting. I love this one. Now, street level up here, right? Raised street level. It's been raised. It's been raised. Okay. How do I know that? Because look down here. So this is, what, this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I see. What's this down here, this junk? Now they're gonna tell you limestone, limestone foundation. They're gonna say, come over here and look. There's our friend, the limestone, that potato crush. Yep, there it is. So it, it should be like that building over there and all the rest of the buildings where it's limestone all the way down, right? There should be no bricks. In, and it should be all limestone because we've seen it right there, right? So it's foundation. That's what they tell us. They use the limestone for foundations. So this being a foundation, so they say it's not, but uh, should have no bricks. But they're covering it up so damn well. We can't really we can't really examine the masonry behind this concrete. They've smeared it, and the bricks are completely burnt and smoked. What happened to these bricks? Electrical heat. Electrical heat damage. Yes. What's this big rod right here? It's big metal. It's big iron plate right here in the bricks above this old window. What's that? Yeah, that's weird right there. Yeah, that strange metal sticking out of the bricks and such. But look at this. This is electrical heat damage, baby, if I've ever seen it. And there's more metal right there between the bricks right there. I'm not sure what the metal is between the bricks, but uh, that's what I see. Electrical heat damage right there. These right here are just going to be, it's going to be live, so I'm looking but there should be no bricks because it's, it's the foundation. And we see that it starts here and it is that material, right? But here's the thing, we know what this material is, right? 
we know this material is the limestone, right? So we know that there's likely a chance that we can find some bricks actually below where they should be, where they ought not belong, right? Yeah. Is that not a melted brick right there? Where's the rest of it? Well, it kind of curled off and curled that way. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's a piece of it over here. <sighs> Give me a brick. What happened to those bricks? Where's the rest of that brick? Burnt? Melted away? Yeah. Mortar leaching out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leaching right out. There's the bricks. What are those doing there? Those should not be there uh, uh, in, in alignment with the limestone foundation blocks, right? But wait, we know what the limestone is. They are bricks. So this is okay. We know that this should happen. Or this can be possible, right? Yeah. And this is why they're covering up all of the faces of these buildings, right? Because they're struck from the bottom up. Right. And they're what? They're melted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You give me a break. Those bricks don't belong there, according to our narrative, right? No. That's right. They don't. Damn straight, baby. So I want answers to that. I want, I want to answer why those bricks right there. Yeah. They're hanging out. Okay. You betcha. Yeah. You yeah. betcha. Yeah, 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 you too, Lila. I know. That ought to be explained. That ought to be explained, yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Masonry here. Good stuff. Likely this was done at the turn of the century. Who knows? It does not seem to have been repaired. <clears throat> it's, it's old stuff. Old. Some pretty it's old. Weather cracks here. It's coming apart right there, but for the most part, it shines like glass. It's very smooth to the touch. Hard. And it's got some nice water. Nice design here for the water channels to run off into that drain. Because the building does go far deeper here. This is not foundation. This is melted brick coming up the wall. What happened to all these bricks? Where are they? These were bricks, right? We said we see there were bricks. Are we laying pieces like that, really? To meet this ugly fake foundation? Is that what we're doing? We're gonna, these were necessary. These were necessary right here. No. They were bricks. They were bricks. Give me a break. Okay. Look at the damage. Look at those those pieces. Those those remaining, those surviving bits. Why are we laying those in there with our fingers? Just to meet this ridiculous um you know. Just give me a break. Look at the mess that that's that that those bricks are meeting. And then we really needed to, you know put pieces in like that, you know, of melted brick. And look at these bricks. I think there's no windows right here. There's no windows. Where did the, flame, where did the flames come from? Right, I think the bricks, look, they're all smoked out the corner here and blown out. Maybe. Yeah. 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 These liars. These burnt buildings. These buildings. Yeah, they are liars. Yeah, these buildings are burnt. Why, why, is, why is there a whole brick? That's not even a whole brick. These are all smoke and damage on the bottom. No, away. Yeah, why are we using half bricks like this? You know, we don't Give use me. half bricks like that. Burn smoked. Yeah. To me, you know, just, just to level out, um, you know, where a melted wall meets an ugly concrete. Look at the mess. Covering. Look at the mess. There's no need for that. There's no need to level, uh, you know, too ugly. Why slice and melt the bricks to do this? They could have just taken these bricks out, these melted ones out, and just had a nice, la a nice, you know, clean layer. This junk right here, meeting this nice and clean, you know, eh? No, they left the melted bricks there on purpose, likely for people like me paying attention. Uh, but, but anywho, well, hello there. Masonry coming together to meet. No, no need for that. So these are all burnt because yeah, they burnt these half bricks that have burnt we're not using those look at this brick what happened to that one yeah look at those yeah. look at the condition they're this burnt they're burnt give me a break so yeah look at the bricks up above here and notice how the line pretty uniform around the buildings this one here now boom I'm sorry Got my finger on the shot there. Screw it up. So you see this, and what's going on? The street level is covering the damage, so you can't see it from the street level. You exactly. Know, the damage, right? no. Same here. 
not mud floods, not mud floods. Yes, there was debris and mud that had to be dealt with as well. And this was part of the way to deal with it, yes. This did help deal with the debris problem because all this brick material, the amount of bricks and such, yeah, it was, it was on the ground. It was all on the ground. A lot of it still is. It's been paved over. You see this here? What's that? In the, in the middle of the wall. What's that? No. You give me a break. Well, they have come in here with fresh mortar and, and made lines. These are fresh lines coming through fresh mortar. See how it's not popped out? The minerals are not popped in this stuff here? It's nice and consistent, right? Yeah. Came through here and played finger paint, so they did. On this side. This side, they just said, fuck it, there's too many bricks sticking out. Because we saw the bricks sticking out at the bottom there. They said, just cover all of it. Because there's bricks at the bottom where, where the foundation's supposed to be. Where oh, the another one. Supposed to be. Another right one. Here. That's why they covered the whole damn thing up here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, look at the melt line here. See? It's not always perfectly consistent all the way down the building. This one went half, this one went mid brick. This one cut yeah. down mid brick. Yep. Okay. The melt came up mid brick on this one and it did not come all the way up here. See? Right. So it's close to perfect. It's, it's close. But it's not always. You see here? That one right there turning into limestone. It is turning into the gray limestone, which you see right here, the brick here, mid melt turning into the gray stuff. Boom, baby. Like down here, turning into it. Okay, I hope I get my point across here. They call it limestone, it is limestone now. This is what it was. That stuff was this. That was this. And it's been smoked. That's all. You know, it's been smoked. And we're raising street levels and sidewalks up to where? The damage line. The damage line. We're That's damaged, right, pants on. We're trying our best to cover up the damage. So when you're out here on the, on the you know, in front of the building, you don't see the damage. Oh, you see pretty buildings. Okay. Yeah, see the bricks inside are yellow. And they're all pretty damaged. Interesting, eh? Oh, sorry. Kind of a dirty window. That one fall through. You can fall through. You can fall through sidewalks like this anywhere. You gotta be careful walking over stuff like that. But anywho, I love you all. Take care. Minneapolis, Minnesota, the melt is here. Here's the evidence. And I got much more coming from the Twin Cities, St. Paul especially, and Minneapolis. I got a lot more from Minneapolis coming too, so. Um, and a lot of it's gonna be very interesting. So um, take care, take it easy. And I love you all. See you soon.